bonheur de ta famille grâce à quoi qu'il arrive on s'occupe des mots si t'as mal irrité hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel um, today is not a easy day as you can check i have a lot of things i've already put in the box all my stuff i put them in the box um i can say i just have a bad news um for you guys you know i'm a congolese guy and um let me just show my face so that we talk you can see my face <laughs> Okay, so guys, today is the day where, as you can check the way I show you, like I've been packing my stuff. Um, I, I've been in South Africa like uh, almost seven years of my life. And then from that seven years, it was like an amazing, everything was nice for us until one day all the documents expire. The one we used to, to have here in South Africa, all of them expire. So we had no choice than going back home. So we went home because from our country, you're never gonna get the passport in South Africa, so you have to go back home. So I decided, I, I took all my family, we went back home, me, I got my visa and my passport. So I decided to come back. Then uh, when I come back, one thing that I said was, okay, let me push also for my family. And all this time, it's been like uh, almost 10 months. I've been staying alone without my family, without my wife and my kids. Uh, they have been in Congo and me in South Africa. So it was not easy for me. And then uh, I keep on trying, keep on trying, pushing the documents. Then uh, I end up giving someone to do the document for me. And uh, that guy did scam me. He did so many bad stuff for you guys you don't even know so i'm so shocked i have the pain inside me then we keep on pushing we push we push we push um as you can check for the past few days i was not uploading any document because i was going under this uh, stress and uh, it was not easy for me to see my family they stay away from me like 10 months and i'm alone this side and i feel like i'm even losing weight huh? <laughs> Yeah, so because of stress, guys, you need to understand this. Then at the end of the day, we introduced one of the visa for my daughter, my firstborn. It was, um, if I remember, March. Then the visa did not come out until uh, uh, the Friday. Until Friday, I received the news that they reject the visa for my daughter. I'm going to make sure I put uh, that uh, paper, the one that they say they reject. So they reject the visa for my daughter. My wife and this other kid, the document did not even go in. So right now, I have no choice than um, decide to go back home. This is why you can see like everything was being packed and this other stuff. So I decide I have to go back home first, be with my family, be with my kids and uh, try to see what we can do next. If South Africa is gonna be very hard for us to come back since uh, it seems like uh, there is a problem with foreigners coming back to this country, then um, I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is going down, why they reject the visa. And because everything we did it nicely, according to what they request us, they say, I need to register the kid at school. I have to take the medical aid for them. You know, everything I did. So all that money, I just lose it also, just like this. So this 10 months was not easy for me. It was uh, so fucking hard for me. You know, being a father and stay alone, like every single day, you just see your kid from the phone, video call. It was not um, a simple thing. And uh, on Friday, last Friday, I was so stressing a lot. I, I didn't even believe I'm gonna pass that day because the level of my stress was like, uh, I, 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 because I see the amount that I put in and things didn't go well according to what I wanted. So I just tell myself, you know, all my hope is gone. What can I do? Can I try again? Now I'm even scaring of trying again because if I try again, maybe I'm not even losing money again and the family is still not coming. So what is the best solution? The best solution is just to go back home and try to restart again afresh from zero again. Like always, 
We are the child of the most living God. I know God will never leave us. God knows why these things happen like this. Because he's the only one who's the solution to all our problem. And um, I'm just alone and I'm busy packing, guys, as you can check. I'm just busy packing. been packing a lot of stuff. I pack, I pack. I'm done with the sitting room. Uh, right now, I want to try to go to the bedroom also so that I can, um, I can be able to pack you know, a few of my stuff, my books and this kind of stuff, because if you can check here, I hope you can see properly. This is my, my big TV and uh, all this is uh, like uh, my box for my stuff, my cables. And this one is my uh, gaming keyboard. And um, uh, this one here, they are my two screen. And um, I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to give up and I'll make sure I do again fight for the document. But at the end of the day, I know I'm going to win and uh, I'm going to give my kid what they want. So as you can check, the house is just mixed up. The house is just mixed up. So it is what it is, guys. The only thing that I'm just going to request from you guys is to pray for us so that uh, things can go well where I'm going uh, so that we don't regret why did I make this decision? It was not an easy decision, guys. I took Friday, I pray. Saturday, I pray. And today again is Sunday when I'm taking this video. I was praying again. I say to God, God, why did you allow these things to happen to me? You know that I make my whole effort for my family to come here. I know I'm going to miss South Africa because it's a place where I love a lot. I love this country a lot. And um, when I come back... I'm sure I'm going to come back as an investor. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back as an investor. And uh, that is going to be properly for me and my family. We're going to get all of us here with all the proper documents. I don't know when it's going to be that. The only thing that they tell me, if I want to, be, I want to come here as an investor, I need at least 5 million rent. And to show that I can be able to employ people and pay them salary. That is not... Um, something is hard i'm just gonna create a business and i'm gonna do everything because i don't have to force anything when it's not working i just have to leave everything in god's end because he knows what is happening then i'm going to update guys what is happening <laughs> so guys packing is not a easy job and good luck me when i buy all my stuff i always keep the box so i keep the box for everything i keep the box of uh, like most of the stuff the only thing I don't have a box is going to be this uh, this one. And uh, because this one I bought it a long time. So the box, I've already lost it. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But we're going to see. Because I have to take all these things to the car and other stuff. Yeah, so I was also busy uh, studying the management. And then um, things did not go according to the plan. And plus, the best things ever, I don't leave aside. You see this one? It's a PlayStation. I don't leave my PlayStation behind me. Everywhere I go, I go with my PlayStation. So I don't leave it. Plus, my books are uh, there. And uh, yeah, so family. It is what it is, and you see guys, I have a lot of tablet, the one we killed the market with them, <laughs> I'm joking, this is the tablet for my kid, so um, I have a lot of them, this is the tablet for my kid, you know, kid they are very stubborn, one of them is telling me, like, do not put the picture for me on my tablet. Just leave that the way it is. This is the one. So tell me, don't put any picture on my tablet. Just leave it. And, uh, yeah, this one is for my firstborn. Uh, I put it off. She doesn't like Apple. She just says she needs Samsung. So, And I have also the little, little one. Little little one, you see this one. She's um, my uh, last born, so yeah. 
This is my last bond, and uh, why is not opening? Yeah, it open. This is the one, my stubborn baby. <laughs> Uh, so she has uh, her own tablet like all my kids they have their own tablet and um, I don't want to get where they are and they start saying daddy you know so I make sure everything is there for them then guys I'm going to update you later on because uh, there is a lot of things I have to pack from my bedroom yeah so sharp guys just your support is what matter to me you always be there for me and make sure you support me as you can i know where i'm going internet is a bit mess so maybe i'll probably upload three video per month not like the way i used to do and then um, so i was saying i know where i'm going internet is a bit mess it's not like a it's like this side where you have unlimited. There, if you want unlimited, my man, you're gonna pay at least $300 or $400 per month. But um, South Africa, we pay like $50 or $70, very cheap. But I'll make sure I do what I can to provide the content as always. And I'm gonna also show you guys part of my country so you can see the most beautiful place where you can come and visit. I would like to see you. If you are, you want to travel, just travel and come to my country so that we can we can chill and see each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it is what it is. I hope um, you guys will see again. But I'm going to make sure I provide everything that it takes. Thanks, family. Guys, here we are again at the border. Zambia side, I just finished to stamp my passport. Now I'm going in the Congo side. And tired, tired.